What's up YouTube, down on the smartphone guy, coming back at you with another video. And tonight I wanna to take a look at another pair of Bluetooth headphones from a company called Leophile. So these are actually the second pair of Bluetooth headphones that I've tried from them. Uh, the first pair were these, these are the Leophile Eels. And these are fantastic for active use. So um, I've been using these for running. Uh, and anytime I go out for a workout, um, I like to take these with me. Um, so these have been fantastic. These are $50 on Amazon. The ones that we're looking at tonight, the Leo File Zeros, are actually a little bit more. They're actually double the cost. These are $100. And so what's the difference? Why are these so much more than the ones we just took a look at? So the Leo File Zeros are the ones I'm wearing at the moment. So they're pretty simple. There's basically just three buttons. They're all found right here on the left side, um, or at least on my left. And uh, so there's uh, the power button, and that's also the button you're going to use for pairing the device. And then there's just the track forward, track backward buttons as well. So in terms of sound quality, I definitely give these very high marks. Um, I'm going to say they're like a 4.8 out of 5. Um, the only thing that I have that I think has better sound quality right now are my professional uh, headphones, DJ headphones. Um, those are from a company called Lasmex. Uh, those are the E85s. Those things are kind of like my uh, bar for what is a 5 out of 5 for sound quality, but these are darn close. These are like a 4.8. They're certainly not the same sound quality that my professional headphones have, um, but they sound very good. Uh, and what's awesome about these, and it's probably different from other active noise canceling headphones, is the fact that whether you have the active noise canceling on or off, the sound quality stays basically the same. It's still very good either way. With other active noise canceling headphones I've reviewed in the past, um, that's not the case. Uh, oftentimes, in order to get the best sound quality on active noise canceling headphones, you actually have to have the active noise canceling on, but that's not the case with these. So. That's a huge thumbs up for Leophile. Um, this is the second pair I've had. The eels sound fantastic, and so do these. Uh, no change in the sound quality uh, between the two. So the next thing I want to talk about is battery life. So battery life also is another big thumbs up for uh, the Leophile Zeros. Um, so the Leophile eels, um, which are the active ones, um, obviously are a little bit smaller, uh, a little bit more pliable, and uh, those got 12 hour battery life, which I think is pretty good, um, but these actually get quite a bit more. So you're looking at 20 hours of uh, battery life if you have the active noise canceling turned off. If you have it turned on, you're only going to get about 15 because then it's actually taking noise from the background and uh, trying to cancel it out. So that, that is going to eat up a little bit of your battery. So you're looking at about five hours less of battery life, um, but still 15 hours is very good. 20 hours obviously is better, but 15 is still very good. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is the active noise canceling. So is it good? And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be completely honest with you. I think that's kind of where these fall a little bit short. Uh, they will definitely do a decent job of canceling out um, kind of like uh, background noise, like of a fan. Um, so for instance, uh, I was in my uh, bathroom just a moment ago and I had the exhaust fan going. I couldn't even hear the exhaust fan at all with these on and uh, I was listening to music, but it was very low um, and I couldn't hear that. But in terms of other things that you might hear, uh, like I wore these uh, mowing my lawn and it definitely took out some of the volume, but still definitely I could hear my lawn mower with no problem at all. Um, overall, it does, so I've had active noise canceling headphones that, that claim 98% noise cancellation. Um, and they're never even close to that, honestly. They're, they're more like maybe 80%. I would say these are somewhere in the range of like 60%. These definitely don't cancel out as much as the over-the-ear ones that I've had in the past. Um, so they still do a decent job and they, they cancel out uh, background noise, but... They're not going to cancel out, uh, you know, the person next to you in a cubicle uh, or whatever. If that's what your goal is, if your goal is to like, you know, <laughs> you know, get rid of those noises, you're not going to get rid of it uh, with these. You'll still hear them unless, of course, you crank the music way up. Then, of course, you can get rid of anything uh, with the music cranked up. So uh, that's not really the purpose of these. Uh, so next thing I want to talk about, and this is a major difference between these and uh, the ones I'm wearing right now. So these are IP67 certified, which means you can uh, basically go underwater with these. Um, it's not recommended. You 
could technically uh, probably go swimming with them. It's definitely not recommended that you do, um, but these are no problem. You can downpour, they're gonna be fine. And you know, they should be because they're designed specifically for uh, people who are outdoors, you know, getting wet, whatever, it's no big deal. Where with these, these are IP65 certified, so they're splash proof, um, but you certainly wouldn't wanna wear these in uh, the water for sure. Um, but then in a downpour, you might, want, might not wanna wear these because they're not certified for that purpose. Um, the only other thing I want to talk about, and uh, this is maybe the one, um, so other than the active noise canceling not being great, um, I would say the next thing that I, I, I that kind of bugs me, and it's the same thing with the other Leo files that I have, so that's these right here, and uh, it's that there's no place to put the wires. So it'd be nice if they were like magnetized or something, so that they could at least, um, so these aren't magnetized, and neither are the ones I'm wearing right now. Um, they're super comfortable to wear. Uh, but if you're not, if you don't have them in your ear, there's nowhere to put them. They don't magnetize. They just kind of like hang there. And I'm not a big fan of that. So let me give you another example. I have another pair here. Um, so these are another pair of neckband. Uh, so these are actually the opposite. These are from a company called Lucid Audio. These actually uh, do the opposite of canceling out noise. They actually enhance the noise around you. So their their job, I guess, is to take outside noise and enhance it. Uh, so that's totally the opposite of what I'm wearing at the moment. But um, these retract. I like that. I wish that these had some way to retract the wires. Um, that would be a nice option to have. So last thing I want to talk about and before we're done here is what you get with the headphones. So you get uh, this nice... Uh, leather-ish bag. It's definitely not leather though because it doesn't have the leather smell to it, but it is a nice little bag uh, to carry the headphones in. You also get, of course, you know, your instruction booklet. Now this is different. This is something that uh, I was kind of surprised by, um, but this is the micro USB for charging. But on the other end, we have a headphone jack. You can actually plug these headphones in, which is really strange for a neckband style headphone. You can actually plug them in and listen to them with the battery being dead. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, that's really rare for uh, a neckband uh, head headset. And then uh, these are just the charging cord and you get some extra earbuds. So that's what you get in the bag. Uh, so overall, do I recommend these? Uh, if, if you're looking for just a fantastic neckband headset that sounds great um, and also will cancel out some noise, yes. If you're looking for the best active noise canceling headphones, I definitely think you need to go with something that's more over the ear because um, those are the ones that do the best job of canceling out active noise. Um, so uh, if it's for like, let's say you're uh, somebody who is a professional lawnmower, like you, you're out you know, and you want to cancel out that noise so you can listen to your music, your podcast, whatever, um, you definitely want the over-the-ear ones. These are not, these will do, these will cancel out some of the noise, but not as good as the over-the-ear ones. So anyways, uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.